Hello and welcome to the first in a series of three on starting with macros. The first I've called first questions and then we've got how to get started and we've got how to keep going. Okay, fair enough. So what are the first questions that you might want to ask? Uh, what is a macro? Where do I get information about macros? And then how do I get started, which obviously leads on to part two. So what is a macro? Well, I'm saying it's an app. Well, what do I mean by an app? Well, what does an app do? Um, they do things, things you want to do, anything, whatever. We're talking about editing, uh, and therefore the apps that we want, the macros that we want, are tools that will help us with editing. Uh, I have to admit that uh, macros are more technical to install than apps are. You can't just click on a link and that's it. Uh, but we're here to help you. So, where can you get information from? Well, I've got a website called wordmacrotools.com, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, how can I get started? Well, there is a course, there is a paid course that EFA produces called Macros from A to Z, which Jennifer Yankopoulos uh, leads. It's a six session course and it's the next running of the course is 1st March 2023. Also though, I can offer you free self-guided training. In other words, uh, Jennifer Yankopoulos has also produced some uh, documents that you can work through either on your own or with friend uh, most effectively. Uh, these are paid for through coffee.com uh, Mr. Macros and when I say paid for uh, they are available free to you but if you'd like to make a donation to help with uh, the cost of preparing them then you can buy me a coffee. Uh, okay, then uh, the second part is going to be called Macros from Square One. That's how you get started. Uh, and then the third part is a strange thing called Fredit from Square One. Well, Fredit is the single most powerful tool that an editor can use. That's my view anyway. Um, and my advice with all of these things is that if you can work through them with somebody else, it's easier rather than trying to just sit at home on your own and uh, follow the instructions. So finally let's have a look at uh, wordmacrotools.com the website where you can find all the information you need. So here's the uh, intro page uh, which just gives you a bit of general blurb about what macros are and what you can do with them. Uh, then we have how can I get started. So here we've got uh, three different things. Uh, there's a thing called the uh, Macros Free Trial which is um, a way to get started if you're not sure whether you really want to get into macros but it'll give you a, a, a taster of what's possible. But uh, if you do know that you want to get started then go s jump straight to Macros from Square One and the, there are two versions, one for Mac, one for PC. Uh, it's getting that very first macro in that's the most uh, difficult and the instructions are going to be different because of the different screens that you have on the two uh, computer systems but that will get you going. Uh, then the next stage is to learn how to uh, use Fredit uh, but that may be you know a month or two down the line or maybe more depending on how you get on with Macros from Square One. Okay, what else have we got on here on the website? We've got the macro menu. What's the idea of that? Well, there are rather a lot of macros that you can choose from, in fact over a thousand. So what we do is produce a menu which gives you uh, a list of all the macros in uh, tw under 24 different categories and for every single macro you've got an entry that looks like these. So the first bit, the bit that I've put in blue there, is the name of the macro. Every macro has to have a name, that's how it's identified. And then the second bit is a, a one-line descriptor of what it's, roughly what it's for. And the idea on the macro menu itself is if you click on the name, that takes you to the place in the website where you can get the macro from. 
and you can copy the macro and paste it into your computer. If you click on the right hand side it takes you to a page from uh, the uh, sort of book of instructions uh, for each of the macros and you can look it up in there and see how it gets on. Okay so we've got uh, then we've got the video channel out there, uh, as you are are well aware you are watching one of my videos uh, there are lots more besides and those are listed in the video channel um, I've done a couple of blogs and hopefully we'll do more in the future and I'm also hoping that others will contribute blogs uh, to help with uh, getting used to what macros can do for you uh, then uh, there's the resources uh, that's a you know, a central place to go for all sorts of information to do with macros. So we've got the information about Fredit, which I've mentioned. Uh, then um, Fredit has so many different features that you could use. Okay, you can use Fredit um, just in a very simple way from the beginning. But as you go on, you can use more and more of Fredit's facilities, and there are actually 21 videos to help you. Uh, there's a general video list of all the videos. If you want to learn how to do wildcards, there's some, there's some resources for that. Um, if things are go, go wrong with uh, macros, which they do sometimes, um, my macros are not perfect and lots of com all computers are slightly different, set up in different ways so things can go wrong. There's uh, information there as to what to do when they do go wrong. Uh, back up your macros, very important. Um, when, Word, when Microsoft update your version of Word, occasionally, sometimes, uh, the macros are apt to disappear. So make sure you've got them all backed up and that tells you a simple way of doing it. Uh, and then as you get deeper and deeper in to macros, we've got loads of hints and tips. If you want to program your own macros, there's stuff there and there is some stuff about uh, Microsoft Smart Options that might be of interest. Uh, and finally, uh, I'm going to mention donations, if I may. Um, my wife has been recently uh, diagnosed with Alzheimer's, so I'm uh, doing a 1,000 mile cycle ride uh, to raise money for research, and uh, going from uh, Land's End to John O'Groats, and then Finally, uh, these uh, training materials, which are given free of charge, um, it's, it's come out of my money, the pay, my own money to pay for them, but you can buy me a coffee and uh, help with that. Okay, I hope that's helpful, and uh, happy macroing.